welcome to another vlog well not another vlog it's the first vlog of 2022 and i'm so excited because we're starting it off with a good old clean with me video and kind of just redecorating reorganizing it has been crazy these past couple of days and i have been focusing so much more on like work and content and like pre-filming that i have neglected my house and i feel like i have a hard time balancing both like keeping my house clean but also being productive and like working and creating content so i'm trying to put myself on a schedule and just i'm resetting the house reorganizing everything putting everything in its place and then just training myself to clean up after myself every time i do something so right now i am in my little studio space which oh my god you guys haven't seen it it's a studio filming room situation and i am deep cleaning everything so i just finished doing the kitchen and i'm making a little pile because my husband's gonna go do laundry which will be really helpful because while he's out doing all the laundry i'll be like taking care of everything here in the house so here is my filming room i'm not showing it to you guys in the best light because it's very dirty i was filming content yesterday i just got the mac the imac that was my christmas gift to myself and i finally unboxed it got it in i like the green but i don't know if i love it like i'm having a hard time because green was always my favorite color and this is it's a really beautiful green so it's kind of still growing on me i'm still trying to figure it out but this is like the whole setup situation now i love it i love filming content here i get really good lighting here as well and then with this big light that i just got from bnh like i'm able to get really good lighting even when it's dark so it was really really nice and then over here on this side i need to give you guys a better tour once everything is cleaner i feel like everything will look much better but over on this side i have a clothing rack because i'm gonna start doing outfit videos or at least outfit pictures at least so i wanted to have some kind of like outfit-y background and then here i put the two mirrors that i actually had from ikea for a while i had these upstairs in storage and when i redid this space i was like i need like a mirror wall and i created it very spontaneous very impromptu and i really really like it because it opens up the room this room isn't that big but it opens up the room and everything looks great so i just took off the rug from here because my husband's gonna do the rug my vacuum is charging so i'm just gonna close this up let me put you guys down so all of my rugs from my house are from ruggable i have my glasses on because i'm blind and i was trying to do the intro without seeing and i need to just buy new contacts because i've been wearing the same one from my new prescription because i got an upgrade but anyways these rugs that i have in every room are from ruggable not only because i have pets that's like the biggest reason but also it's just easier to clean and maintain so all of them are from ruggable and i love that we could just throw it in the wash i vacuum this mop my floors vacuum my floors and then i just put on the rug once it's clean and it's super easy so i'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side sweep the floor because my vacuum is dead so i can't vacuum i really want to clean everything up new year new haircut <laughs> Let me see it. Show me the haircut. Oh, it's so dark in here. Wow, senores. Wait, you gotta go into the light, babe. You gotta go into the light. We want the full picture. Wow, we just gotta style your curls, but it looks nice. Let me see the, the fade in the back. Wow, you fadey boy. <laughs> So this may sound a little crazy, but I mopped the floors with downy, like the dish soap, because we don't have any Lysol. I did it one time on accident, and I did downy. You're not downy. What is it called? Is it downy? I think it's down. No, it's not downy. What is it? I think it's down. I don't know. The the dishwashing soap one, the blue one, and then I put the downy like scented little beads. So I mix that in the water, and that's how I've been mopping my floors. It's a little bit more work because when I do the first initial mop, it's like all suzzy and like soapy, and so I go back the second time with just hot steaming water and I take off the like soapy stuff so the floor doesn't stay sticky and I have noticed a huge difference in the scent the how long the floors like last 
so much more and oh and sometimes I put a little vinegar in there as well but my floors are so much better now because I feel like when I was using the Lysol liquidy one like it cleans but I don't feel like a deep clean like I felt like my floors were getting dirty really really fast so this has been working for me and the trick is definitely like hot steamy steamy water as your final rinse sometimes I even go in three times again it's a lot way way more work but like the floors are so much more cleaner than using just like the the liquid stuff just a little tip for you Studio is done, yay! Spotless and clean. I got my diffuser going on just so when I walk in here, it smells really nice and fresh. Can I turn this lamp off? I'll keep it off. Oops. And then once the rugs are clean, I will come back and just put it. But this room is nice and clean and it looks, oh yeah, I'll, do, I'll show you guys this side as well. It looks so nice and I also cleaned my mirrors so they're nice and clean and yeah everything is spotless I love it let me close this door so that the dogs don't come in here and my next project is the bedroom now this room is a mess huge mess this room is going to require some reorganization because i took down a lot of stuff i took down the stuff that was there yes mia yes brother hi hi my boy Hi. So I'm trying not to buy anything for this space. I really want it to be very cozy and bedroomish, but I also want to have my desk here so that I can still film like mornings get ready with me and like skincare stuff in this spot I think would be nice. So I want to keep that. I also customized this mirror, which I need, do need to clean. I put like LED lights around it because I didn't like the silver. Um, I can't find my remote. This is a problem. This is why I need to clean because everything is such a mess here, but I put LED lights around it and it looks so nice nice i'll show it to you guys once everything is done but my vision for this space is i do have the entryway table which i'm thinking we can put it here i have a plant that i want to use because there's like no greenery in here we definitely need a pop of greenery i have an extra chair that i can probably use for like a reading nook or something i don't want to clutter the space because right now the bed is closed but the bed comes out to like right here maybe or like right here so we still have a lot of space in the room but because we took out the rugs we're washing it and stuff i want to reorganize and decorate and stuff like that while that's being washed and then i can make the bed and all that good stuff this i don't think i'm gonna keep it there that's where fishy is i might swap it out for a different one look at the hallway a mess <laughs> we're working on it might swap it out for something else i have something else in mind that i might like need for this space or i was also thinking of moving the ladder which looks kind of random and putting it on this wall and then these pictures putting it across like this would be nice i can get rid of this situation here because i have a mirror here and then i have a mirror here i don't really think i need two mirrors but then again i don't know it just depends so i my little wants to go on the bed <laughs> papa you can't go up there because then you can't jump off i'm so sorry <laughs> are you frozen are you frozen bubbles can you say hi you guys they got haircuts from the groomers and they were so low their hair's finally coming in but when i got them back they look like two ratoncitos you look like two ratoncitos right two ratoncitos lindo bebe is it two ratoncitos yeah I'm gonna do a little check-in with you guys because it's been a little bit it's probably been an hour and change and I've still been kind of like rearranging furniture just trying to see like what I want the outcome to look and it's kind of hard to see because I don't have a rug so I'm like trying to figure out the space like I do have a rug but it's being washed and so the bed is like flush and closed so I can't really see the full spiel you know so I'm gonna show you guys what I did so far so you can see what the room looks like right now so I didn't touch any of this this stayed but I did bring my dress dresser from my filming room i brought it over here because this has all of my clothes and my husband oh, 
Look at Milo. He went into the basket. Papa, you went to the basket, lindo. Oh, you're so cute, Milo. <laughs> okay, so I brought over the dresser. And now that I'm looking at it, I might have to move it a little bit over because the plan over here is looking kind of squished. But I'm still going to be playing around with it. I brought this from over the filming room because this has my clothes. So I only used it because I wanted it for some like background decor. But now that this is our bedroom, it just makes sense to put the dresser in here so I can get ready and get dressed here and stuff so dresser is here i'll show you what i did to the bathroom i mean not the bathroom i'll show you guys what i did to the filming room in a second i put the bench there but i put up the sign the mr and mrs sign that was in our bedroom i'm trying to like not go too crazy because this is only temporarily going to be our bedroom i don't know how long the renovations for upstairs are going to take but i still want it to feel cozy and comfortable so so that's what i kind of have going on in this space i'm like oh still trying to figure it out again i think once the bed is done i'll be able to see what i have to work with and, and then i put the shelf over on this wall i still didn't finish decorating it but put the shelf over on this wall and then on this side i put the other shelf that we had in the living room that we now don't have in the living room so i think it looks really nice and cohesive and then i did hang up the mirror over here on camera it looks like it's blue but it's actually a warm light and i don't know if i want the mirror there i really don't know i'm having look at milo <laughs> I'm having a hard time kind of just deciding placement and stuff. I have a problem with like empty walls. I don't know why. I just feel like I have to fill it up with something. Like in this corner, I don't know what to do. I have like an empty space there now because I took off my little to-do situation. This I'm going to probably bring to the filming room because now I don't need it over here. So I'm just trying to figure it all out. I'm trying to figure it all out. So I, it's going to take a few days probably for me to just get it all together. I do do a lot of different things. I'm move things around a lot before it's like final destination just because I like to see how things look in certain spots and you know change things from different rooms as well sometimes I do that if it looks better I have a lot of stuff now here in the hallway that I have to well just like a few things and so for here the filming room little studio i'm loving the couch vibe over here so i do want to see if i can find like affordable couch on like wayfair or overstock like a small love seat not like a full-on couch something like this but a little bit bigger and with the back i think that'll look cute and then i'll put smaller pillows and like decorate it and make it look really cute and cozy and that'll be the vibe for my room my videos and also i'll be able to sit on the couch and do other like sit down videos up close just for a change of scenery you know i want there to be variety and options so this is where the dresser was and so now i have the little bench i like it but i don't love it i definitely think a sofa is going to look so much better and there's so much space as well so i have enough space to put a sofa there clearly milo's loving this spot <laughs> So that is the progress so far. I am starving. I was supposed to make dinner and now I'm like, I still have so much cleaning to finish and reorganizing that I'm just like, babe, can you please just bring something? Bring me something so that I can like survive and continue to clean. But this stage is the part where I'm like stressed out to be honest with you where i'm like i don't know what to do like certain things are not looking right like what do i put here what should i put over there so that is the only part that kind of gets me stressed out a little bit when i can't figure out placement but once i figure it out and it's just decorating that's the best i love that like throw pillows throw blankets like decor like little accent stuff i love that but just getting there takes a while and so that's the stage that i'm in right now so Okay, I'm giving you guys a little check-in for the room. I like how it's coming out. I do have a couple of things to get. I want to make a gallery wall here. So I want to get smaller frames because these are too big and I only have three. I want smaller frames and have our wedding pictures and our engagement pictures here with like a filter. So it looks really nice and it matches like the room. And then I also need to get a pot for this. I want something that's going to elevate the plant a little bit higher just to get rid of that wall space. Again, I just don't do well with negative wall space and then over on this side this is what it looks like i want to get an olive tree because i feel like this tree is too full for the space it makes it like too dark so an olive tree is going to have some height but like the branches are going to be more spread out and it looks really cute and modern so that's going to be there and i don't have a pot for this either so that is what the room is looking like so far i'm pretty sure i'm going to make some changes but happy with the way the room came out and the desk area i finally cleaned it off it was so messy but i have this 
little setup over here i got my twisted what is it called twisted peppermint from bath and body works i love me some candles and right before going to bed is the room is gonna smell really yummy what well, already does smell yummy and then i have this book here that i yet have started to read but i really want to read it it's called hidden bodies and it's by the netflix series you if you guys have seen it so good you need to watch it i want to start reading that and so that is the little setup over here love love can't wait for the gallery i think that's gonna look so cute and it's different from what i've ever done because i don't really like pictures in the houses i don't know why i'm not a fan of pictures and picture frames but i think if it's like a gallery wall modern version it will look really nice so I never really do the same decor every year until this year. I really been into coffee and so I wanted a bigger space for my coffee bar and just like the area and the aesthetic of it all. I really wanted it. It's kind of awkward because it's next to the TV, but honestly my house, it's pretty spacious, but not spacious and like my kitchen and my living room isn't that big. So I kind of just have to work with what I have. And I thought about making this the coffee station over here in the entryway, but our entryway is also very spacious small so i don't know i feel like it'll be a little too bulky and there's no outlet here so but that would be a cute spot to have it in but for now i have it here and it kind of works i don't know maybe we can get an outlet installed and have it in the entryway i don't know yet but for now this is what the coffee bar looks like i also have a new coffee machine this is the espresso essentia essentia como se dice essentia mini milo nothing in there is for you i can promise you that nothing in there is for you no there's nothing in there dude this is just my stuff no back come on back 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 so i got a new machine for christmas my parents actually got it for me so thank you mom and dad <laughs> i'm so grateful and so i was so excited when they said they would get it for me because i've been wanting one that has the original pods because the original pods grew more espresso shots so since i like more lattes and like cappuccinos the original line has more variety of espresso capsules so that is something that i really really wanted to explore in 2022 was more coffee recipe and from having the virtual machine i learned that i like more lattes versus big cup of coffees like this one i have to organize this this is the only thing i didn't get but these brew 7.7 .7 ounces of coffee so it's just a little bit more dilute and I like it a little bit stronger so that I can add more milk to it. So that is my whole little spiel. I'll do more coffee content and all that fun stuff and recipes and stuff like that in my vlogs more often. So stay tuned for that. And then I also got this guy. I forgot what it's called. I'll enter the name, but I forgot what it's called. But I got this. It's just also a different way of making coffee. And then I also found a French press because I really been wanting to just try French press. So I got a really cute one from Amazon. I will link it. And then I have it here for display and decor and also use it and then of course my greca so that is the coffee bar i love it and i will link everything down below i'm gonna be better this year at linking things for you guys because i know you guys always ask me and i'm so bad i forget but i'm gonna try to link everything as much as possible Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days, maybe not even a couple of days, maybe just like one day. I didn't vlog yesterday, only like a little bit because I went to Target, Home Goods, and that's it. Oh, and BJ's. I just got some stuff from BJ's that I needed for the house. And so I wanted to do a little haul for you guys because I went with my parents and we were just kind of like catching up and stuff. And so I brought my vlogging camera, but it was dead. So I have to charge it. So I wanted to give you guys a haul of like what I got at Target and like Home Goods and stuff. I have my hair in a hat right now because I ran some errands and I just finished filming a Mass Monday video for you guys and my hair has no product in it and I don't want it to go crazy but it looks cute in the ponytail so I've just been out running errands but I was like oh my god I have to finish the vlog. I need to be better at just like 
intentionally vlogging because it feels like it's been so long since I vlogged that I like have to remind myself to vlog so I got some really cute stuff for the office I've been really into diffusers lately I feel like it's easier quicker than a candle I love my candles don't get me wrong I'm still doing candles but I feel like it's easier with a diffuser what I do is first thing in the morning I just put in my little water and put in my oil and then when I when it's time to go into that room it smells delicious and I don't have to worry about a burning candle like if I leave the house and I forget a diffuser I just like it's fine so I got this one for the office which is so stinking cute I got two of them I got one for both sides let's actually open it right now I wasn't sure if I needed two because the office space is kind of big so it's like I wanted to smell really yummy in here like all the time I'm really big on scents I love my space to smell good and clean and it just inspires me to like be better you know so I got two of these they were each $15 at Target which was nice they're not huge super cute you know small simple matches my aesthetic of course that is huge for me so I got two of these and I still have a lot of like holiday scent essential oils that I've been putting because I know there's like a huge list that you can't do if you have pets so I do keep that in mind so all of the ones that I do use are pet friendly so just keep that in mind if you have pets some fragrances might be too strong for them but I got two of them again I'm gonna just see how it looks so where I can put it and if I like both of them I will keep both of them if not I just take one back to the store I also picked up some pods for my Ascensa mini machine these are the original line pods which I'm so happy because I love espresso I made like the best cup of coffee this morning I should have like recorded it and I didn't I'm sorry <laughs> but you guys will be seeing so much more of me and I'm just trying to get used to vlogging again it's been like two weeks and that's a long time in like the vlogging world because it's quick and easy to forget like oh shoot I gotta capture this you know so I'm sorry but it's a really great recipe I saw it on Instagram reels from this coffee page and I learned how to make like my own cold foam it was delicious I will show you guys how to do it but for the meantime I'll show you guys which pods that I got so the good thing about the original line is that you get to get pods that are not necessarily just from espresso so I got this one from the Pete's brand and it was at Target and this one is called crema scuro it just sounded so delicious so this is what it looks like and it comes with 10 no yeah it comes with 10 different pods and they're more cheaper than the virtual line pods so I got this one I got my Starbucks blonde espresso roast which I already have and I freaking love this one I have it in the virtual line and I also now have it in the original line this is like probably one of my favorite ones from Starbucks the ones that they came out with so delicious absolutely love it and then I got this one from good and gather didn't even know they had coffee pods but I got this one from good and gather and this one is, this is the Colombian pods like what we love diversity over here so I got those three oh no and I got two more I also got the Pete's espresso chessa I don't know if I'm saying that right but this is what it is and this is what it looks like and then last but not least from good and gather I got the vanilla flavor because I love me a good old vanilla caramel latte I love that so those are the new pods we're gonna go ahead and stock the coffee machine up and then I don't think I got anything else from Target I got the greenies for the dogs so I'll give them some guys you want a treat come here let's get your teeth nice and clean yeah you want some you gotta say hi to the vlog first okay Okay, here's Mio. Mio, say hello, everybody. Say happy new year. Say miss you guys. Say hi. Okay, good boy. Here, you don't want it? Okay, I'll put you down so you can have it. Here, my my, come here. Milo, come here, Papa. This one's for you. Come here. Come here. Come around this way. Yes, yeah, and this is my other big boy. His PJs for him big, so I have it like this. Say hi. Say hi, big boy. Here. No, you don't want either? Okay, I'll leave it down here so you can get it. Here, go get it. But I did get them the greenies, like their dental situation. And then in Home Goods, I got myself a new garbage can for this room because the one that was in here, I took it for the filming room because in our bedroom we didn't have one. So I took the one that was in here and now I needed one. So this one's so cute. Got it in Home Goods for how much was this? $24.99. And it's so cute really nice good quality so I'm gonna have this one in this room and then I believe that's it I didn't really get more I I had. I'm really trying to like have my like healthy journey you know Halloween weight loss learning because your girls a little thickety thick so I wanted to get some weights and I saw these really cute ones I got two of them the other one somewhere I don't even know where it went but y'all 
Is this not like the cutest weights you've ever seen in your entire life? Are you kidding me? It's gold and this like really nice sagey green color. And it's pretty hefty. Like this joint is pretty hefty. So I got two of these so I can start like my little workouts and like, huh, huh, you know, I'm gonna try to make good positive changes, especially if things are cute and aesthetic. I feel like it'll motivate me to like use it. So I got two of these from Home Goods. Be on the lookout for them because they have a nine pound one, a five pound, and a three pound. I got the five pound one. And five pounds sounds like so little, but this this is actually pretty heavy. I don't know if it's more than five pounds. I'm about to actually weigh it because it does not feel like it's five pounds. It feels heavier, but I got it because it's cute. Last but not least, I did get a couple things from Amazon that finally came in. So I want to show you guys. Oh, and then one more thing. Hold on before we go into Amazon. I found this one at BJ's, the curl enhancing smoothie. Y'all remember this product? Let me know. Comment down below if you guys are still using this product because I was obsessed with this. This was one of the first, not one of, this was the first wash and go I ever did on my YouTube channel. I use this with Eco Styler Gel and I'm actually going to re be refilming that because I want to see what my results are. I haven't done that combination in a long time. Definitely over a year so I want to see if that works and I'm going to film it so we can like compare like the results from like my first video to now like six years later which is crazy. So I bought this one and this is a huge one. This is 20 20 ounces you guys 20 ounces of goodness because this product is so good but I haven't used it in a while but I know it's a perfect like wintry product so got that okay and then for my coffee bar from Amazon I got some really nice coffee bar books so this one is craft coffee and it's a manual for you to learn how to brew different types of coffee I did get a French press and I did get a chemic so I want to read this book and like learn how to actually use it and do it and it's also gonna make really nice like coffee station decor because the two books that I have on my coffee bar situation are not coffee related so I wanted it to be coffee related and then I also picked up this book from Amazon which is called brew and it just teaches you the different ways to make coffee as well and I don't know I really loved it it had really great reviews and again it matches the aesthetic but it also teaches me something about coffee you know I'm really into coffee by the way if you didn't know I love it, it just gets me happy motivated mo mo <laughs> motivates me in the morning so I love all things coffee and it was just very fitting for the coffee bar so I got these two books I'll link them down below if you guys are into coffee too and you want to like learn a little something so I got this right here which is gonna be for my desk in the bedroom because I noticed that I've been doing my skincare routine there at night just because it's right next to the bed and it's just convenient but when all the lights are off everything is dark and I can't take mine out <laughs> So I got this, it's like a really fancy light, but it's a light that you control, you can like move around, it's like really flexible, really cool, instead of like your traditional lamp, I don't know why I felt like this was going to be more fun, and it also comes with like this little attachment that you can screw it onto your desk without like damaging it of course, but screw this part on here on the bottom, I can't get this on. Okay, so you're supposed to be able to screw this on your desk. I don't know why. Oh, okay. There we go. So this part right here, you just move it and then you just bring this down and screw it onto your desk. And then you're supposed to be able to just move this and use this however you would like i don't know we're gonna try it out we're gonna test it out i'll let you guys know once i set it up i am waiting for one more thing that i want to show you guys in this vlog before i end it because i feel like the vlog is long i know i'm doing like weekly vlogs and this one was a little bit more all over the place but i want to be like filming every day i don't think i have anything else to show you guys i got bounty <laughs> not bounty i got the bootleg bounty i got the the berkeley jensen one bounty is expensive like i could get two for the price of one so I'm beginning with cheeky cheeky stuff. It does the same thing. It does the same stuff. editing my video and my makeup cart my little cart right here 
just got here so i'm gonna build it this is the one that i have that i got off amazon as you can see it is filled so filled and everything that's in here i use so i don't want to like take it out so i wanted a bigger one and this one's just longer i hope it's bigger to be honest now that i'm looking at it, it doesn't look that big in the picture but it looks big Let's just build this really quick and see oh this is pretty nice wow this is huge yay look how nice this is this is gonna be a great size this is like two parts in one which is great because now i can have all of my makeup and everything all in one yay i'm so happy and then the little containers that i got i thought they were gonna be bigger i'm not gonna lie to you but it is magnetic so i was like i want to have them on the side let's see if all of my brushes fit in here okay all of my brushes i keep them in these two and this little house that I got from Target for like three bucks. So hopefully they can all fit in two of these. So to my surprise, just one container was actually able to hold everything, which is really nice because that means that I can put my liners and like mascara and stuff in the other one. How neat is that? Ta -da! So that already freed up so much space because now I have them both like this and i can they actually magnify together interesting but i can just stick them to the wall once i build my little rolling car yay i'm so excited look at the size comparison so it's double but it, this one's also slightly thinner than this one but i'm so happy because now i'm gonna have so much more space let's go ahead and fill it up what an upgrade so much so that i literally have a whole thing that's empty i was able to eat, actually even get more palettes and put here so that i can play around with some new stuff i think i'm gonna leave this empty for new makeup so whenever i get like pr i'll just put it in here this is my little facial steamer that i've been using every night and then look oh my god this looks crazy but all of this was jam-packed on this one and the second one so i was able to like condense it and it looks so cluttered <laughs> but it's organized so i know exactly where everything is my concealers my primers foundations mascara brushes everything has a designated spot and then here's my skincare and setting spray and it's just it's so much better because everything is right on top easy for me to grab my brushes <sighs> I'm so excited. I got it from the container store, so I'll link it down below for you guys in case you also need like a makeup cart or just a cart for anything. I just don't have any storage with this stand-up desk, so I needed something that was better quality because this one, not only was it packed, but it was also coming out because it's not screwed in. It's kind of just placed on top. This one's actually screwed in, so it's not going to move or break or fall apart or anything like that. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> always doing something nasty so yeah i'm so excited and my little mirror fits where is it my mirror fits back there i'm so happy it looks so good good morning guys ah! i am trying so hard to be a 6 a.m.er it's just so hard because i i just can't i mean i can't but i just it's just it's just a lot anyways today's my first day using my cart you guys and i just love how everything is now nicely and laid out everything is easily accessible i'm gonna try to be good at just grabbing something and putting it right back that way i don't have to like go crazy cleaning up after myself every time i do my makeup but it is seven in the morning i think it's still seven i'll be filming today nice and early because my parents are coming over to help me clean up upstairs and like take some stuff with them i needed to wake up early to get my video out of the way try to be consistent got a schedule got things to do i was like oh i could just do five more minutes it's not gonna kill me ended up being 45 minutes because i woke up and it was seven and i was like oh, well okay those are probably well dang okay i made some breakfast made a coffee which is so yummy i'm gonna be doing my nails later as well because i did these white press-ons and i usually put my own top coat whether it's matte or glossy and i did it this time and so i've been doing a lot of like cleaning and rearranging per use and so my nails have gotten really really dirty and i don't like it i'm very cautious self-cautious about nails 
and I like them to look good and polished and so right now that's not happening and I don't like it but I am gonna get through this half of the video and then probably when y'all see me back in the second half of the video I'll have different nails but I'm gonna try to do like a cute little makeup look today but I don't know what to do because I'm gonna be doing my hair right on camera with you guys and then I'm gonna wet plop and while I wet plop I'm going to be fixing stuff upstairs and so I'm probably gonna sweat I'm gonna see if I like take care of like I don't know I'm gonna try not to I'll just probably like have to retouch my makeup if anything but I want to do a nice little eye look the noise is the dog so yeah you guys can see them the dogs this is typical typical morning so while I do my makeup I'm gonna be listening to this audiobook called audiobook wow no this audiobook it's an audiobook on audible <laughs> so that's why I'm like audible audible book okay whatever I'm listening to it it's called the Min the miracle morning for entrepreneurs so I've been starting my mornings either listening to a book listening to the Bible or listening to a podcast a preaching or like a youtuber that's like inspiring and like motivational so today while I do my makeup I'm gonna listen to the miracle morning for entrepreneurs the miracle morning for entrepreneurs elevate yourself to elevate your business Ooh. written by Hal Elrod and Cameron Harold with honor a quarter narrated by Rob Actus I don't really need new friends so spend your time with me looking for someone who can play though wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me looking for someone not afraid of give it all to me get next to me get next to me all that I Hey guys, so it's been a little bit later. It's actually been a whole lot later. I mean, not even, let me not even say a little bit. It's been a whole lot later. I started filming at seven. That's when I like checked in with you guys. And now it is 3.04. It's been a minute. So I clearly, I did my hair. I filmed a video for you guys with an OG wash and go. And I'm obsessed with this wash and go. I freaking love it. I forgot how much I loved this wash and go. I don't know if this video is gonna be out before this one. If it is, I'll link it down below for you guys. If it's not, stay tuned, cause it's coming out. I just been filming a lot. I'm trying to like film every single day and that way it just becomes a routine for me. And so I don't really know what days things are going up. I'm trying to stick to my schedule and put everything in order, but I don't know if this is going up before that video, but that's not here nor there. So I was filming this video. I did the first half this morning and then my parents got here at like 10 o'clock and we've been working on upstairs ever since. Yeah, I'm surprised my makeup stayed intact because I've been sweating. We've been moving stuff, moving furniture, like rearranging so many things. And I'm not vlogging that upstairs because I'm gonna save it for like a whole different video and this vlog is already pretty lengthy. So I don't wanna make it about that, but I do wanna do like a whole dedicated video on what we're doing for upstairs and like the vision and all that stuff will be in another video so stay tuned for that if you like home decor and just like home redecorating and things like that stay tuned because it's coming it's just gonna take a while before it gets here but I'm excited about that project and so after they left to go get the kids I took advantage and finished my video I dried my hair and stuff like that and now they're gonna come back after they get the kids and my husband's gonna come back home from work and we're just gonna finish upstairs so I don't think there's anything else for me to vlog today I know this vlog has been all over the place I know 
I'm sorry. Just bear with me because I haven't vlogged in a long time and I'm like a little camera shy. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'd rather not vlog right now. Or just sometimes I don't think about it. So I'm sorry if like it was all over the place. I will try to do better and be more consistent and just like remember to pick up the camera. And if not, then we're just gonna put the videos and pieces together and hopefully they make sense. I think I'm gonna make a second cup of coffee, which I'm totally against. I am like, you need to drink water. But y'all, me waking up at six in the morning, come to three o'clock, I'm like, oh, like I need something. <laughs> so I might make like a nice iced coffee. That sounds really good. Or maybe I should just chug a whole bunch of water. I don't know, I can't decide. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys are liking my little new routine and my new schedule for my channel just to keep things organized. And so you guys know that on Fridays, you're gonna be hanging out with me, okay? Don't make plans if you're like, 40 minutes to maybe an hour if we get like adventurous, but don't make plans so you can hang out with me and we could just catch up. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.